This video will show the operation of my new thrusting device here, ion thrusters, which you see before you. Unlike the earlier versions, these are free hanging. They're suspended by monofilament on a single uh, rotor here instead of a double ended rotor as before. Here you see a ruler to give you some idea of the scale of this. The power system on this device is a little different also. Here is the uh, voltage multiplier as before, but this time the power will be running through this uh, automobile ignition coil, which is an epoxy encapsulated uh, coil of considerable power. The coil is driven by this box containing a household dimmer switch. Inside there is a 7.5 microfarad motor run capacitor rated at 450 volts. And this of course is running off household current. I don't know the actual output of the coil in this setup. I estimate it to be around 15 to 20,000 volts, which running through the multiplier converts it to DC and increases the voltage to probably close to 60,000 volts. The rotors themselves are fairly simple. This is a two inch inside diameter uh, copper plumbing coupling very heavy. You can see the uh, thickness of the copper here. The forward electrode is simply a bare length of, the, of wire. This is the positive electrode. The coupling is the negative electrode. The rotor system works like this. The positive line comes up through the interior of this pipe to this terminal where you have these rotating connections, commutators. The ground or negative connection is through this. This is a piece of uh, soft drink can aluminum and these two electrodes which connect to the copper tubing. The, uh, they don't quite touch. They're close enough that the charge can leap across the very tiny gap between but it reduces friction for them not to actually touch. The uh, rotor is constructed of basswood. Center pipe is PVC, three-quarter inch PVC. The base plate is a polyethylene uh, cutting board. And now I will activate the, the dimmer, which will feed power to the coil, to the voltage multiplier, and to the rotors. Now the tissue paper you see attached to the end of the rotors is simply to demonstrate the ion thrust that's coming through them at the time, right, coming through them at the time. Right now they're bobbing because I've touched them so they're just waving a little bit in the air. That will change. Now you hear the hum. I'm going to step back so you can see everything moving. You can see the tissue paper is blown out straight behind it by the ion stream. You can hear the hum of the uh, coil and the voltage multiplier. A little slight arcing there. The voltage is quite high, about 60,000 volts, my estimate. I have no actual way of measuring the precise voltage. but a considerable amount of ozone being produced also, which is uh, disagreeable. As you can see the thrust buildup is considerable considering how heavy the couplings are. I'm going to try to zoom in on the rotor. I don't want to get too close to it because it is quite high voltage. I'm going to try to zoom in on the rotor. You can see the operation of the rotor as it's turning. Now 
back off. Now, this is the maximum output of the coil at, the, at this time. If I slide the dimmer switch, it will decrease the output. The rotors will slow down, may eventually even stop. But even when the thrust is too low to make rotation, you'll see the tissue paper continue to waver. This is almost the lowest setting of the coil. It will slow down and may even stop from lack of thrust. You can still hear it hissing and humming. And you can see the, even though the rotors have almost stopped, the tissue paper is still streaming behind it because of the ion wind. That rippling is entirely due to the stream of ions coming back from the positive electrode, the, the length of wire. Now I will uh, open the dimmer switch, increasing the power until it makes sufficient thrust to start moving again. It takes a lot of power to make these move because they are so heavy. They do build up speed though and become, get to be moving uh, fairly quickly. One problem I have encountered with this setup too is the positive terminal which is underneath the uh, cutting board tends to radiate ions from that point and the tabletop even though it's wood becomes saturated with positive ions and becomes attractive and eventually that will uh, saturate the air above it and slow the thing down. Yep, it's arcing. That happens. Need to use a stronger resistor to stop that arcing. Right now I'm using, I'll show you, this long cylindrical object protruding from the end of the voltage multiplier is a 55 mega ohm wire round uh, resistor, which greatly reduces the uh, arcing, but evidently I need to use even more. As you can see it's recovered its speed. It only runs flat out though. So, that is the operation of my uh, asymmetrical capacitor thrusters free rotor style. I'll shut off the power. A lot of ozone slowing down and stop.